Absolutely not. We have done several stories just in the past few weeks about these school threats. Ferndale is just the latest district that's being impacted. But every time we have to report on this disturbing trend, we're led to OK to say. It's an anonymous app where students or parents, if they hear or see something that could be a school threat, they're being led to go to this app. And we're told that in 2021 alone, they received 722 tips. Three anonymous posts on Instagram late Sunday night, shutting down Ferndale High School and Middle School. A person threatening to bring three loaded weapons into the building, even posting a hit list of students they'll target. The school district sending a letter to parents explaining that out of an abundance of caution and to allow Ferndale police to fully investigate, they're closing school for the day. School threats, a troubling and triggering trend, according to Oakland County Sheriff, who sat down with 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell last month. How often are you getting these threats? Daily. Every day something happens. Despite the frequency, Oakland County Prosecutor Karen McDonald warns about normalizing the behavior. Stop being so desensitized that we just accept this as a part of our society. Following the deadly school shooting in Oxford last November, charges were filed against 12 students in Wayne County, five students in Macomb County, and two students in Oakland County by mid-December. Those numbers once again rising. It's a threat is a crime, regardless of whether you intend to carry it out or not. Uh, last month, we also spoke with an attorney who represents a few students who were charged with making a school threat. And he's emphasizing to parents to talk to your kids about this because he says oftentimes these kids don't realize how serious it can be to make a school threat and they don't realize that they could be facing time behind bars. Live in Ferndale, I'm Kiara Hay, 7 Action News. It is